We have a question tonight about a local woman trying to get a business going, and she wants to check out uh, a legality with that. The guys with the answer, attorneys Greg Fellerman and Ed Cerambole for The Law and You. Good to see you guys. Dave, this reminds me of Saturday morning. You got us coffee, coffee today? Oh. This is nice. Thank remember, you. It's November now. Remember we used, take care of you guys. Remember we used to battle the Simpsons? <laughs> and the <laughs> Smurfs. And the Smurfs. We, we would regularly come. Uh, we crushed the yeah, Smurfs. We, we Smurfs. would get in there and beat the Smurfs. You know, it was those bake sales that always got higher ratings than us. It's a good run. <laughs> All right, here's our question tonight, and this is from Lisa in Old Ford. She says she's starting a business, and she's going to have people making delivery. Should I have under and uninsured motorist mm. coverage on my policy? Should Lisa consider those? Uh, yeah, things? so this is a very interesting question, Lisa, because, you know, your employees are going to be, uh, if you have under and uninsured motorist coverage on your policy, and they're using your vehicles or the business's vehicles, then it's going to be an extra layer of coverage for your employees in the event that they are hurt while they're on the while they're on the job, um, it really is a good thing to have because you know they may be out on workers' comp, they may not be able to come back. If you can afford it, because they you know depending on the amount of vehicles you have and amount of employees, it really is something very beneficial that you should have for your employees. And Absolutely. the other and the other thing too is a lot of people don't know that if you are using your personal vehicle for deliveries, for example, a pizza delivery, or let's say this this business doesn't really make it a business delivery and she's just letting you use your car. There's an exclusion yeah. in your auto policy that you're not allowed to use your car for commercial purposes. So if you are doing a delivery, that type of stuff, we, we encounter that at least two or three times a year where people are excluded for coverage because they didn't inform their insurance company that they are doing it for a job. You know, that's extra risk to the company, so you have to let them know. And Absolutely. if you're, you're, you're doing the business, make sure you set it up as a delivery vehicle. You're going to pay more for it, but you'll have the right that's coverages. Yeah, that's okay. You'll have the right, yeah, you'll absolutely, absolutely. have the right, that right coverages. And, you know, certainly you don't want one of your employees, if they get hurt, or hurt in the course and scope of their employment, oh. to not have any ability to recover. Right. Good advice. If you have a question or a concern, you know the number, you know the website. Results matter with good coffee and all. It Thank you for the coffee. Love again. the brew. Yes, sir, and boy. What do you say for the holidays? <laughs> Coming up soon. Can't wait. Laundry right. Hotline is open. So is PAHomepage.com to get a question here on the show.